What it do is motherfucking, from what I gather, episode two. I got my boy Trip here, fucking from Florida, super Virginia, Grimtown, OG, been down for a hundred years. Man, we've been sitting here testing the mics and talking shit, and we've talked so much shit that it's like two episodes worth of stuff. I got Jano in the building. What up, what up? Um, you know, we're out here just chilling, and I don't know, I just had to hit record because... I just, the thing pinged in my ear, and all I heard was we was rolling Jimmy Crouton down the hill in a barrel in Cave and Rock. So it's like, can you can you reset on that now that I'm Yeah, recording? yeah, yeah. So we, 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 started, right we started the barrel rolls at Cave and Rock, Illinois. We, uh, me, Little Matt, Brad Knowlton, Ho, it was like a dare. Like, we would give him some fucking acid or some rolls or something, and we'd let him roll them down the hill in the trash can. <laughs> So we found a trash can and everything, and Timmy Crouton's got you know, on the fuck the hill hill. We got on top of it and fucking rolled him down it. He went in head first. These are like the round blue barrel trash cans. Exactly. The real slick. Yep. Fuck. The real slick plastic ones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we, and we rolled him down the hill and everything like that. We bounced around everything in there. Everybody cheered. There was a whole crowd there doing it. You know what I'm saying? He was willingly like, "Hey, I'm gonna do it. I'm Timmy Crouton. We roll hard. Dumped in the barrel. Oh, fucking oh, rolled oh, down oh. the fucking hill." Yeah, oh well, so a whole bunch of ninjas seen it and cheered and everything like that. And he got back up and we brought him back up. And everybody's like, do it again, do it again. So uh, he gets in there this time, but he gets in there feet first instead of head first and gets inside of there. Well, if you remember the hill, when it goes down and around, there's sides of the wall, like the wall sides there. Yeah. Well, so he goes in and he starts spinning and his head pops out. And it goes right towards the fucking wall. And his oh head runs God. down the wall in a oh. circular motion. Just anyway, it was fucking hilarious. He gets the <laughs> face all dirty, all bloody, all fucked up. And dude, I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure he had a concussion. Yeah, man. But when he eating. brought the barrel up to the top of the hill, there was all there was already another ninja in line. They're like, oh, this one's next. This one's next. And it started at like four or five in the morning. And they started. They did barrel rolls all day at the gathering. So, with that being said, though, earlier you were talking about when you and Corp did some old fucked up shit. Can we go back to that? We gotta <laughs> yeah, go back yeah, to that. Yeah, we, 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 we can go back to that. It was <laughs> the, the Tempest ride, and we were we were all chilling over there by the Tempest ride. It was probably like... The Carnival ride? Yeah, so, the Carnival so ride. So, hold on. So, for anybody that doesn't know anything about Gathering or Juggalos like that, at the Gathering... They bring out carnival rides. They bring out legit carnival rides that we get to ride for free because, you know, it comes with the gathering ticket. So. She goes so hard. So hard. So, yeah, so the Tempest ride's there. So, yeah, we're, we're sitting there. Uh, we're talking, and I look over and everything, and I'm like, hey, man, the keys are on the ride. You know what I'm saying? We can, you know what I'm saying, turn this thing on or everything. We're talking about turning it on. So we get up there, and there's other ninjas there and everything. They're, you know, they're like, hey, can we get it on yet? And we're, so we're like... Hang on a second, we got this. We finally figure out how to turn it on and start it up. So he lets ninjas on the ride and spins around, loads it up. There's probably like eight or nine ninjas on the ride. We turn it on. He's like, all right, come on, let's get out of here. And I'm like, what? What are you doing? What? Carnival ride. Get no, on the golf cart. Let's go. No carny attached. So we hopped on the golf cart and drove away, like just like up around the corner a little bit up on the hill so we could watch him. And he just sat there spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. So for a lot of y'all that don't know either, you know, uh, Corporal Robinson, the guy that he's talking about, uh, ICP started their own wrestling federation called JCW, and uh, Corporal Robinson was the heavyweight champion. So you you got the heavyweight champion of JCW, and you, and you're all like, you know what, we're going to start this ride up, and Corporal's like, we're going to get the hell out of here now. <laughs> and you're just like, yep, let's go. <laughs> I mean, if I remember, though, that dude did a whole bunch of fuck shit, right? He did a bunch he of did, fuck shit. He did, do And I felt, I felt really guilty about it, but it was kind of funny. <coughs> you know, we, it was pretty funny watching him be stuck on the kind of carnival ride, spinning around like, oh, what are you going to do now type of deal. It's like, fucking terrifying you being know? stuck. Oh, shit. And, uh, you know, by the time, you know what I'm saying, it, it ran for a little while, and we kind of seen some puke, and by then they had already <laughs> come over there and started shutting the ride down. Like, wow. Man. Man, me and my cousin. But they left the keys in it, you know. Yeah, 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 don't leave your keys and shit. <laughs> Me and my cousin uh, rode the zipper one year, like, 15 times in a row. There was, like, five people in line. And, like, I remember his charms flew off, and he, like, they flew out the cabin, and he lost him, and he was real mad about that. But we were, we were fucked up, man. We rode that bitch almost till we puked. 
We rode it for like an hour and a half. It was so fun. I puked on the swings before. Ugh. So I, so I also also so did I also did DMT on the Tilt World that year. They had the Tilt World oh there. Uh, Me and Bebop did DMT on the Tilt World. That's that's insane. It was it was pretty it was pretty bad. So talking about crazy rides, uh, we talked about it earlier. Um, talk about golf cart moments. So, so when Lex pulled up, the whole M and E crew pulled up. Lex being from Queens, he never drove a car. Um, there's a, a pretty well-known juggalo in the juggalo world. His name is Legs. He's a, he's a black guy from uh, Pennsylvania. He actually has no legs. So uh, every year he gets a golf cart. And, uh, well, he was right there when m and pulled up. So Lex gets out, and, of course, you know, me what? and Lex start talking. I'm like, what you want to do, Lex, blah, blah, blah. And I see Legs. I'm like, yo, Legs, you should let Lex drive your golf cart. Well, Lex gets on the golf cart to drive it, and he goes, I never drove anything. We're just like, <laughs> what the hell? He's so he started driving, and we realized, never drove. Oh, he's never drove anything. Well, <laughs> Josh was back at uh, at home base, you know, our our camp, Camp Diamond, Camp Diamond, and uh, Lex was like, "What are we doing, Jay?" I said, "We gotta go pick up Josh, man, because at the time Josh's foot was hurting and stuff." So we go to pull up to the campsite. When we pull up to the campsite, that's exactly what we do. We pull up to the campsite. Lex literally runs over a tent that's neighbored to our campsite. And instead of <laughs> stopping the golf cart, he jumps off the golf cart and just lets the golf cart keep rolling. It was a very, very <laughs> wild ride, to say the least. Yeah, and my, my foot was broken, and I didn't know how I was going to wake up that morning. And I woke up to you and Lex the Hex fucking golf cart. Rampaging through the campsites to pick me up. That shit was lit. That was a crazy gathering, man. Crazy good gathering, too. Though. Yeah. I think it was my second gathering was the gathering that Shaggy was jumping the golf cart and yeah. hit the tent. Yeah. They ran over, they hit the car, hit the tent. They were going around all That first. was right next to Fro's campsite. Like, we were camping with Fro. Like, that happened right next to so We were all standing around watching him jump the golf cart. And we were like, oh, is somebody in there? They were they were going, going around, around all the first day telling like, people to set up ramps. They were like, build ramps, we'll come through tonight and jump them. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember. People were setting up ramps all over the place. Oh my god. I would have done it. Evil Kashagi. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was terrorizing. Man. So yeah, I mean, uh, what do you think, what What would you say your most memorable year is if, if you had one, Trevor? If you remember it. Yeah. There's, a few, gather- there's a few gatherings I don't really remember a whole lot of anything. <laughs> True. Like a few of them. Um, the tenth annual was a good one. That was that. Was, I mean, it this probably was wild. my best gathering. Would would have been the tenth annual. Wasn't gathering. that the like second or third one at Hog Rock? Um, I feel like that's when people got real comfortable with Hog Rock and shit exploded. The tenth yeah. annual was when they did the Bang Pal Boom release too, wasn't it? I think that's what it was. So. And I think it was like Family right? Underground came out. The year yeah, Family. Before. Yeah, so yeah, it was like really, really cool, big. Though. Like you know what I'm saying? Like and so, every it was like double. It was a lot of people, man. I've heard there was like twenty thousand there. I've heard, you know. There was about twenty thousand people there. For it was sure. it was deep, man. Because I've been to gatherings that I feel like there was like six thousand people. Well, see, there. I've been I've had like the worst of the gatherings and the best of the gatherings. I've gone with like, you know, no money in my pocket at all, just strictly like there, <laughs> on, along for the ride. And I've gone with you know, two grand in my pocket. I feel you I've gone that. I've gone with a grand in my pocket and got everything stolen from me, my car keys. My wallet ID and still had the time of my life. You Dude, know what I'm saying? It, it like, still, people out are like, did, did yeah, you, okay. you gonna go back again? I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going back again. Like, why wouldn't I? Like, like you said, it was I'm my going, fucking stupidity. I lost my shit. Like, I remember one year I went with like 1,500 bucks and all my shit taken care of and everything was awesome. And then one year I went like with like 20 bucks. I had a broke hand and I ran out of contact lenses, so I was like blind the whole time. Oh, oh my god. And I still had the best time of my life. They were mm-hmm. both about equal, like and it all equaled out. No, nope. I've yeah. I've quit I've quit my job to go uh, quit jobs. I've lost houses. Like was like, oh well I couldn't go couldn't pay my rent this week this month because I had house. to go to the gathering, so we gotta move out, I'm evicted. Like, I've uh, I've definitely I've spurred the moment. 
uh, gone together. I yeah. know you can. Oh, uh, I know you can relate to that one. Too. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah that's you say you're not gonna go all the way up till then, and then somebody's like, "Nah, get in." Yep. You're no, going. In, you're well, when you're when, when you know you know talking to Trip and he's like he's not going to be a gathering he's not going to be a gathering and then you're walking down a path and you're like Trip is that fucking Trip a gathering yeah <laughs> he showed up <laughs> <laughs> y'all can't have gatherings without me I mean shit yeah stay away <laughs> can't oh away. man dude I'm so bummed out about the gathering not happening this yeah year. I think the new slogan is no gathering this year we gather here. Yeah, well, for see, the podcast. You know, you know. <laughs> but like, uh, I mean, I've the seventeenth annual was a really good gathering. That was yeah. one of my favorite gatherings too. Like that, that one yeah. went that one went very smooth and well. I, I love that, <laughs> like, that gathering. Was beautiful. I, but I'm not a big fan of the uh, the grounds there that um, at Lester Valley. Lester Valley. Really? I mean, it's I just. I want it to be bigger for the gathering, and it can be bigger, but it's they not. Do Lost like, Lands there and shit. Yeah, when there's other festivals there, but like somebody told me that when they do Lost Lands there, that the camping is like pushed all the way back to where the parking lot is. Like, and all that shit that's ballers and up to the woods is like the crowd. Yeah. Like that's nuts. Yeah, it's that's huge. what I was. That's what I was told too. Like it's, you know, what I'm saying that hill where everybody camps at, that's all crowd and shit. Yeah. yeah. yeah I've heard. Of, I've seen videos. But, Hog Rock, which is, makes me th- makes me think of how small the gathering is. But you know, the, but at Hog Rock, that was place was huge, and there was ninjas everywhere. In Oklahoma, that it was huge, like yeah. it was pretty big in Oklahoma. It was really big. Like that's they were giving free really golf big. cart rides because it was so big. It was hot, let's, and there's so uh, much let's dust. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the Oklahoma gathering. Me and Josh actually did go to that one. I didn't go to that. Oh one. man, maybe, yeah. talk about t- talk about some stories maybe happened there. It was uh, the old dust, dusty the gathering, dust, right? Man, yeah, I, dude, I was scared. I was. There was the dust, dusty gathering. It was like red dust all over the towns. Like when you're driving in there, like there's just like red dust and dirt all over the buildings, oh, the cars, God. and so like there was, be like, just dust everywhere. It doesn't matter. It got in your tent and your clothes everywhere. So, but you could go to the lake and, and get it all off. I mean, it's badass. But the I got scared while I was there because the tornado alarms went off. Oh, man. Like, shit. Ain't you know, like a tornado coming in here in a tent. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, literally, like, I'm like, in a field. I'm like, no, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was like a real warning thing. Like, it happens out there. Like, I'm sitting there chilling. They're like, you know how tornadoes work when the hot air and the cold air moves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, it's I'm sitting hot. there. It's hot and everything like that. And all of a sudden, I feel a breeze and it gets kind of really cold and the hair stands up on my neck and the bell, the alarm starts going yeah, off. You like, feel that shit you can feel it. Man. Like, I was like, dude, this. This is really shitty, dude. Like, yeah. imagine how many jugglers are tripping balls right now and Silent Hill alarms are going off, like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm losing my shit, man. Yeah, that's I'm nuts. I'm losing my shit. Uh, yeah. Prof played at the uh, gathering in Oklahoma. I know, man. Yeah, Prof is one of my and favorite And that was, that was really cool, because I know Prof, you know, personally, every time he comes around, I end up chilling in my bottle bottle, he drink. My man. Like, I you went to see him in Jacksonville. You, I know people can't see you right now. But for everybody listening, so you know how much he loves him, he's wearing a prop jersey right now. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, uh, I see prof, and like he really, you know, he knows who I am, and he's about to go crowd surfing, and like I put my hands up, and like he literally jumps like right on me, and like you know, it's me and like two other ninjas, like we're carrying him around. I just won't let him go because I don't, I'm afraid they're gonna drop him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's like this guy. So like I just won't let. I'm like I got you, prof. I'm gonna carry you. <laughs> I'm gonna carry you, prof. And I and I mean, like me and these couple other ninjas like fall like you know like maybe 10, 12 people back. And all of a sudden, I run, I like, I plow right into Bebop, and I and I set Prof down. And I was like, "Look, Prof, this is Bebop. <laughs> These are my friends." Nice. Hell yeah. German suplex style. So, I mean, with that gathering, you know, how was the feeling of that gathering, seeing that you've been to so many? How was the feeling? Because I've heard a lot of mixed feelings about that gathering. Yeah, it was, it was way, way more West Coast, way more dusty. It was dusty. way more West Coast. It was a lot different. It was a lot of, it was a lot of different, a lot of new faces. Um, there wasn't that many, you know, like there was like the all-star, you know, characters that show up to every gathering. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, the clip, certain camps, you know, that we all met up there. But there was a lot of different people, so it was, 
Well, you know, they didn't know how to re react because there was a lot of their first timers and West Coasters, you know. Yeah, so yeah, it was it was kind of different. No doubt. Man. And we were all in a different environment. We weren't used to, you know, the heat of the day, the dust, the you know, we weren't prepared. So let me ask you this: This was one thing that I was definitely sad about that I missed. Did you hit that slide jump? Oh, yes, yeah. you did hit. Yes. I actually, I actually, I actually almost got kicked out. For because there they had this floating platform that had a staircase with a big diving board on it. Right. And it was anchored to shore. And I swam over there and grabbed it and pulled it over to where everybody was swimming at and where it was deep enough and I was jumping off of it. Oh, and they rolled up on golf carts and told me to stop and I couldn't do that. And I was like, okay, you know, I was like, all right, all right, I got you. And I told the other dad, I was like, I let like two other dudes that were up there with me go one more time. And then, like, I brought it over back to shore and apologized to them all night. Like, yeah, my bad. I just, I saw it here. I wanted to do it. You know, they were like, you, the, the liability and, you know, the insurance probably, you didn't sign a waiver. You can't do that. So, that but strange. I ended up doing it again the next day, and they threatened to kick me out if I touched it again. Damn. Oh, wow. So, but yeah, and then I went and did the slide. The so, slide. Was the, did the slide cost extra? Huh? What, did it cost extra? Or? Yeah, it was like 10 bucks. Well, that's not bad. Did, uh... Good. Was the wall any different there? Like I heard there was cops inside of the ground. Yeah, it island, was. It was. Um, which is like funny story about the cops. Experience. Funny story about the cops in the in the, in the grounds. But yeah, they were um, they were walking around. They were in undercover vehicles in driving around. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh shit. You know they we weren't. Used to the private property, fucking no cops allowed rule that we usually follow. They weren't like really over by like the campsites. Like they, they could right. come up there if they wanted to. Like if you were near like one of the walk roads, like the roads in there, like they might bother you. But if you went deep into the camps, you were good. Right. But uh, like then they would be like by the stages. They would come right out by the stages on their little horses and shit like that. But. <laughs> so you That's know crazy. one thing, one big thing about gathering, and, and a lot of people know this about gathering. A lot of people don't know this. It's a lot of naked females. I mean, there's they, some naked men. Naked people in but, general. Yeah, in, in general. But I heard that the, the girls were actually having a really hard time. Yeah, they weren't allowed to uh, show their tits. Like they were, they were oh, yeah, handing out tickets. They were letting you do pasties and stuff like that. But uh, you crazy. know, uh, one of our one of our close friends, she she always goes topless at the gatherings and. She got on four different occasions threatened to get fined Damn. Oh my God. if she didn't cover them up. So she kept having to put change her pasties or whatnot. Wow. That sucks, man. But it definitely sucks. So, but, brighter, brighter note, man, uh, let's go to 17. I think 17 was a good gathering for all of us. Yeah, 17 was magical. Good good story, 17 gather, gathering 17. Good story. What was Bebop sign at 17th annual gathering? What do you mean? Make America whoop again. Was it make? Was that when it started? Was no, that, that his son? That was the March. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I think that was the March. That was the well. March, but he, he there was a. He's got a couple different. He had a, I miss my cat sign. I remember that. Yep, I think that was the year, and he had all the pictures of his cat. Yeah. At the seventeen. Yes. Yeah, it might have been his. Yeah, yes. I think it was his cat. Yeah, it was his cat. I remember. Um, I remember showing up to y'all's campsite one morning. And Bebop was laying underneath the chair, and everybody had stacked shit all on top of him. <laughs> and then he woke up pissed. <laughs> I mean, livid, because he couldn't find his fucking glasses. And I, can't I remember, remember that. that. Somebody took his shoes, too, I think. Yeah. And I no, can't I, remember I see. who had their gla his gla or who gave him a pair of glasses. Somebody gave Oh, Petey. Petey. I think Petey yeah. gave him a pair of glasses. Cast out in his ditch and in a ditch and lost his shoes and his glasses or some shit. Yep. I've, saved, I've saved Bebop a couple good times. I think that was the year they froze his assets as well. Yeah, the year they froze his assets. And, and then just there's one people, remember they, they, he was accusing those people on top of the RV that they stole his sunglasses and shoes. Like, they let them sleep in a, on their couch. Yeah. And they stole his sunglasses and shoes and stuff like that. And, like, oh, they're, they're, the cops, they're like, they brought the cops, like, over there to that spot. Because, like, they were like, no, they were like, he won't leave our campsite, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, it was getting about to get real. Yeah. So I had, like, I, I got some shoes for Bebop. Some of my yeah, he favorite, was belligerent. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was belligerent as fuck. He didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Was that the same year that you walk, You brought two left shoes, Jay? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, this motherfucker brought two left shoes. He was supposed to so, be doing security for KMK that so, night. Yeah, so I, I, I uh, KMK rolls in, man, and, uh, 
I've been gathering, man. So I had my flip flops on, man. And, uh, you know, the Kings roll in. I'm backstage with the Kings. And uh, Daddy X, Brad X, looks at me and goes, You got some different shoes? And I was like, Yes, sir. I'm going to go up to my campsite, change them out, blah, blah, blah. So I go up to my campsite to change them out. And I have brought two. Because at the time, so everybody knows, I had about three pairs of the same shoes. I was just about to ask you, I was like, how did you mix them up when you noticed that those are two different shoes? Well, I had black shoes for when I did security, and I had three different pairs, or three pairs of the same shoes for when I did security. Well, I brought two pair, two left shoes. Two left so, shoes. So, I, uh, at like, that time, I'm like, Josh or Lauren, I can't remember, one you hit me up. You were like, like, we need to go to the store. I have to go to Walmart. We oh, jacked my jack little used sister's to be a, car. That used to be a journey to go to Walmart yeah. to Log Rock. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, no, this was Legend Valley. Oh, oh, oh yeah, this was oh, Legend okay. Valley. Oh, so it was a oh, good yeah. tip okay, and so ride. My little sister was still mad and inebriated, so I took her keys and took Jay to go get some new shoes at Walmart. We, I think we stopped and got some White Castle or something. Uh, I think it was Burger King. Or Burger King, Burger yeah. King. Took an AC break, took some clean shit. Yeah, I always hit White Castle. And got back oh, yeah. to hang out with the Cottonmouth that's, Kings that night, and that <laughs> shit was wild. That's what we were saying on the last one, man. That was that's kind of a rule of gathering for all us East Coast cats. Is when we get out that way or up that way, we stop at a White Castle on the way to get Oh, always, that's, always. That's a rule, man. I always that's do it on the way home, like, you know what I'm saying? But it, right, it's right there. But by the time I get to gathering, I'm like, fuck White Castle. I want to get to gathering. <laughs> well, the past couple of I'm like, gone. yeah, yeah, fuck a White Castle. <laughs> I always leave like two days or three days in and make one trip into town at gathering and I always get like a bunch of peaches and plums. I actually stopped to fight one time with some peaches and plums. <laughs> and fucking these two dudes were about to fight each other was on I like there for that? Mertro. I don't know, it was two dudes. I think I remember you having all bunch from of L S P or the Scrubs or somebody and these dudes were getting in each other's I face. Think it was some people from Scrubs. And I walked up with a bag full of peaches and plums and was like, Y'all need to chill out and eat some peaches and plums, baby. It's going to be all good. And everybody was like, uh, okay. <laughs> and everybody just took some peaches and plums and just stopped. It like, was like, this is good. Like, I had them in a cooler. They were all cold and shit. You remember Obama? Oh, fuck yeah. I yeah. got pictures of Obama. Yeah. Me and Obama. I'll tell you a cool story yeah, about Obama. You got Obama. pictures with Obama, don't you? You and Bebop. Yeah, man. Y'all ran I'm, around with him I'm hanging while. out in the merch booth or whatever, and it's late in, uh, Bronx Obama comes with Mike Busey and his girls or whatever, so uh, Obama was walking through Merch Road to go to second stage to go be part of the Mike Busey set. Well, he had time before he had to be down there, and he was in his full get-up. I mean, he looked just like, I mean, he had a whole <laughs> outfit and everything. And he stopped, and I was like, you want to smoke? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> and, uh, so he came around the back, and it was, I, I, I swear to still to this day, man, it was like mind blowing because we sat there and we smoked, and it was, I was smoking with Obama, and it was the like most mind blowing shit ever. It was it was nuts. My experience with him was I think that was the year that Bebop showed up for one night, yep, and had to leave, and we were hanging out. We hung out all night until the sun was coming up, and we were walking on this trail, and it's just me and Bebop, and. uh we see Obama walking up, looking crazy as hell, in like pajamas and shit. Yeah, we're like, leaving. We're like, "What's up, man?" He's like, "How do I get out of this place?" <laughs> we were like, "I mean, what?" And he's like, "I've been here for three days, like fucking white girls and smoking, and I need to leave." And we were like, "We got you, man." And like, we walked into the exit or whatever, and he was like, "Thank y'all so much." You know, y'all want a picture or something? We were like, "Sure." And Bebop was dressed up like a peanut, like a piece of peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. And I had on like a cake. Shit. That's right. And fucking yeah, like we met him. And he was like, "Thank y'all." And we were like, "No problem, dude." And like, it's pretty nice. Yeah, because right, right, right after that, that y'all ran into me and y'all told me all about that. His face but, just said like, "I've never partied this much in my life." Please help me leave. Like, the best part about it was, is everybody knows that Barack Obama is black and white. Bronx Obama is Puerto Rican. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucking weak. Nice fellow though, man. He's nice a real good dude, man. Yeah, that was a fucking wild one. Man, 17th gathered, man. I I had a lot of good moments. I, I can't lie, dude. Shout out Mandy's Beef Jerky. 
Yes, oh man, that, that was a savior, man. That, that shit was a savior. Our homegirl Mando Two Straws makes the best beef jerky, man. She makes like two pounds of it in like five or six little quarter pound bags with different flavors. And I remember we took off on the golf cart when we stole this golf cart this one time. It's another story, but she gave us a bag to like have some and I just peeled off with it. And we ended up taking a lap or two around gathering and being like, oh, I need to take her beef jerky back. Like we had to go back and take it to her. She was like, yeah, you just pulled off with the whole sack of beef jerky. Hey, that shit was good. And then I think the next gathering, she just gave me my own bag. I just kept that shit in my pocket all oh, fucking That year uh, we met Phil and... Uh, Phil and Evan, man. Shout Phil out to them. Phil and Evan, yes, man. Straight they out of Wisconsin. Straight out of Wisconsin, they became part of Camp Diamond that year. Yeah, that was their first gathering. They didn't yeah. know shit. They came yeah. next to us, man. They, they were, were camping cool. next to us, and we were like, man, can we just connect everything? And they were like, hell yeah, so we connected everything. And yeah, we Diamond connected all the tarps and canopies nice. to their shit and sector off the little land. Didn't they like straight? No, it wasn't them. I tell you, it was somebody else that I was camping with at like the eleventh gathering. These cats were camping next to us, and like after the first night, they ate some shit and they just disappeared and abandoned all their shit, and we never saw them again. Oh, you're talking about behind us or some shit? It yeah. Was up, yeah, we were on the hill and they were behind us. I remember yeah. that, dude. I remember that shit. Those yeah. kids were like some like festival hippie kids that came and ate some something and were never heard from again. I don't know what Oh, I remember happened. that, I think. So I, was on the, you, I was on the dark, on the hill in the yeah, dark forest. I think I remember I'll tell you that. this, man. Uh, seven, going back to the 17th and going back to Bebop. Uh, it was the end of, I, it was the end of ICP. They were doing Fago Armageddon. Well, it was right before Fago Armageddon. It was probably, you know, a couple songs or whatever. And I'm like, before everybody starts rushing, I'm going to go back up to the campsite. Well, Bebop was like, I'm going to walk with you too, man. And it was literally just me and Bebop. We walked all the way back up to the hill. And uh, where we were camped at that year, at the top of the hill, it was a perfect shot to main stage. You could st stand there and yeah, watch. Yeah, I remember that. Stage. I remember yeah. that. We had the perfect little opening. And, and me and Bebop, it was just me and Bebop, and we stood at the top of that hill and watched Fago Armageddon together. And we were just and we were just like, love you, bud. Like, it was Yeah, that's it was beautiful. Really cool. It was really, really cool. Yeah, I've had a few of those moments. Sometimes it's nice not to be like directly up in the shit and stay like watch mm -hmm. it from a distance. Like I remember when I was a teenager, I'd you know, front row, bro, and like I'm right in the oh, shit. Oh, I still the whole go show. hard. I still I mean, go hard. I, I mean, I've done both, but I still, I still go, go hard. hard. But at gathering, right. I, I pace myself differently because I'm older now and I got broken <laughs> foot problems and I gotta like choose my battles to make it really worth it. But like, like I think this past year we watched the Ghetto Boys and it was um. It was right after Hom Homie died, and they canceled the whole rest of their tour except for that date because they loved the Juggalos that much. Yeah. And, like, we were all burnt out. Um, our home homegirl, Blue, was in the Juggalos show and had burnt her face yeah. and went to EMT, and they were like, look, we dressed it up. I mean, it wasn't terrible. They dressed it up, but they were like, look, unless you go to a doctor and get this, you know, antiseptic or prescription face burn cream you know you probably have scarring on your chin and face she was like well can we leave after icp so we're like yep sure if it means the difference between your face being scarred or whatever <laughs> somebody can fucking take bite the bullet yeah. and drive the first Absolutely. leg or whatever Absolutely. but that night we watched we all watched icp kind of chilling in the backfield and like kicked it it was uh it was pretty magical i tell you the 10th annual we kicked it in the back because uh uh, Kenny Tyson brought the van around, the big white van, and parted down the main stage, and pretty much all of Grimtown and everybody, we all, we took turns, like, blasting off. We would go from all the way in the back of the crowd of the van, and we'd go all the way to the front, and then go, come all the way back to the van, get drinks, get go, get glow sticks, okay. and everything, and, uh, go head back up to the front of the stage all throughout ICP. Yeah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I love sitting back and watching, you know what I'm saying? But also, like, being up front, too. The past three gatherings, I've gotten on stage for Fake Fago Armageddon. Yeah. I yeah. just jumped the rail. So, uh, <laughs> Jump the rail. Oh, I think, I think <laughs> yeah, the most fan. magical... I think the most magical thing that's ever happened to me at gathering was the last gathering I went to. I was kind of having a shitty gathering. Um, it, it wasn't too shitty, but it was kind of shitty, you know? But, uh, Josh... It goes, I think I'm going to go to main stage and buy boxers and a cape. 
And I'm like, <laughs> really? <laughs> he said, I'll be back. And he leaves me at the merch table, and he comes back in a, his Batman boxers, a cape, and a Raiden hat. Yeah. And uh, we went down to main stage, and our phones were dead or something like there that. There were some tight boxer briefs, too, with Reptar on them. Yes, <laughs> it was great. Like so, Pete, Pete, my prince. Uh, like, uh, we did not know where anybody was, and we were walked up into the crowd out of this thousands and thousands of people at the end of the gathering at ICP. Yeah, we walk through the crowd and we find our whole camp. I don't know. We just stumbled upon them, and then we got to spend the ending of gathering all together, and it was. We got a picture of it, man. That was probably the most magical thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. Realistically. It was pretty tight. It was, it was the ball. Well, fuck, man. I got, a, I, got a, I got one story I do want to share. It was, it's one kind of, like, it's, my, I wouldn't say my worst gathering experience. And it's, it actually turned out to be the good gathering. But it's, it's y'all know the story. Y'all have heard it a million times. The one where, you know, where I got everything stolen from. Oh yeah. I've so, heard. I don't right, well, this is this is the story from start to finish about how this gathering yeah, went. We, me and Ginger, loaded up with Jason Judge and Alexa, and we rode in Ginger's CR Honda CRV. Well, in the mountains of West Virginia, his transmission goes out, so we have to pay for his car to get towed back home. So we're already down like fucking two hundred fifty bucks. And we switched cars. I kind of just like hijacked, stole my mom's car. I was like, "Can I take your car?" She was like, "No." And I was like, "I'm taking it." Well, are you I'm gonna Are you it. gonna call the cops on me or not? She was like, "No." I was like, "I'm taking yeah, it." Yeah, this uh, is so happening. <laughs> we loaded up. Sorry, and, uh, I stole sorry. my mom's car, and we drove to the gathering. And we did, you know, we anticipated a four cylinder for gas and everything. So we ended up spending way much more money in gas with this V8 fucking Blazer oh. Trailblazer. And uh, so we, you know, what I'm saying we get there and we're kind of broke and everything. So I, 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 I call my mom up. I'm like, Mom, can you wire me some money? Like three hundred bucks. I just stole your car. Can you wire me some money? <laughs> can, you, can you just wire me some money? I'll pay you back when I get home. You know, type of deal. I got my paycheck. And she's uh, she's pissed. So she does it anyway. So I get gas money at home and I get it wired to me. I'm like, Cool. Everything's good. We're gonna have a good gathering now. I got I got everything on me. Nothing bad can happen. Well, like. I ate, a whole, I ate a whole bunch of acid. Nothing bad could happen. Nothing bad could happen. Nothing together. possibly bad could happen now. <laughs> so I ate, I ate like four of had gel tab acid, and I'm tripping out. Ice cubes on stage. I'm like, oh, dude, I was like, I could, I could use a shower right now. I like, I just need a shower. Like, I feel horrible. I feel gross. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Wait, Ice Cube was on stage? The rapper, Ice Cube. So you must have had one of your worst gathering experiences while I was having one of my best. Really? Yeah. Okay, but go ahead. Oh. You, were throwing, you were about to throw up? So, yeah, I felt like I was about to throw up and everything. Like, I'm, I'm kind of just, like, tripping out. Like, I'm feeling nauseous and everything, like, tripping really hard. So I go break into the showers, turn the hot, we hot water heaters what do you mean on. break in? Uh, the showers on top of the hill. The big, like, they close them at nighttime. The solid building one? The solid building yeah, yeah. one. They close it at nighttime. So they like, had a lock on it? Yeah, they had a lock. I mean, well, it's just locked. You just pop the chain. That's oh, all I gotcha. did. And, uh... So I went in there, turned the hot water heaters on, fucking stripped down, put all my clothes in a little ball, a little bag, right outside the shower, so I can look down and kind of see the bag. I got my wallet, keys to the car, my money, ID, social security what? card, credit cards, everything in my fucking. You know what I'm saying said, pocket full of acid, fucking. You know what I'm saying like everything. Your I, whole life. My whole life in my fucking clothes right there. I'm taking a shower, fucking, I'm tripping the fuck out. Like, I'm about, you know what I'm saying? I heard keys jingle. You feel safe in the shower. You know, I, I, hear, I, hear, I hear keys jingle, and I look down, and I see my bags going. I immediately rip back the curtain, and I run outside. Then I immediately run outside, and there's, like, nobody there at all. I'm, I'm butt naked, and I'm standing outside the bathrooms, and there's nobody around. So I'm just like, Fuck. So I go back inside the shower and fucking look around. There's my shoes there, and they took the towel and everything. Like just left my shoes there. Damn, so man. I had to walk down the back side of the hill, butt ass naked. That's fucked. Oh my god. That's Cussing like a motherfucker, cause like I'm telling you, when I came out of that bathroom, there was nobody in any direction. I ran around the whole bathroom. There was nobody. Like I was like, what the fuck? Where did all my shit go? Like. And so I, I fucking was cussing all the way back in my fucking camp, put clothes on, fucking was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, sat there, had to 
wait till the acid wore off. Oh, man. And I was like, I, was so like, frustrating. I, was like I gotta call my mom. Yeah. <laughs> she'll, she'll wire me some more money. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but I don't have an ID. I don't have, oh, my phone was in my fucking pocket. Yeah, you know, I don't so have like, car key. Didn't have the keys to the car anymore. Gotta go off memory for she didn't have a, She didn't have another key to the car. I was like, wire me $500. So she wired me more. She, she actually, actually, I picked up the phone. I was like, mom, I was like, you're not going to believe this. I was like, I got everything stolen from me. I need some more money. She said, you live in Illinois now. Click and hung up on me. <laughs> so Damn. I called her back again, and then she wired me the money. Oh, oh man, fake out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So That's I crazy, ended, up get, ended up getting more money, smashed the ignition out, started the car, was going to drive home, but the key had a chip in it. So every time I put it in drive, it would cut off. So I ended up leaving. I ended up getting a hold of the Hog Rock and got his contact information and stayed in contact with him. Hog Daddy? Hog Daddy, yeah. The dude's the man. His name's like Tim. Yep. And uh, I stayed, you know, I went to the gathering while the gathering, the, the grounds while the gathering wasn't there. It was pretty nostalgic. It's it it awesome. But, uh, yeah, so I ended up leaving the car there. I ended up leaving the gathering early, like right when ICP got off stage. We hopped in the car and left and got a ride back to Virginia. Nice, man. That, that fucking sucks that that happened for you. Fucking but that was still, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, I mean, it's an awesome story, and I still had a great time at that gathering. Like, People ask me if I regret going or if I was going to go again, and I was like, absolutely. Like, that's not going to stop me from going. Like, <laughs> that was my own dumbass fault. Like, yeah. that's fucking crazy, man. Like, all right, well, we only got a, a minute or two left. So I'm going to tell you about the same experience I had during Ice Cube while I guess you were having that experience. <laughs> fucking my uh, grandma on my mom's side had just passed away like the year before. And uh, I had a container of her ashes, you know. So like we, I go up to the to the main stage during Ice Cube. I'm like, I'm gonna spread my grandma's ashes here, gathering fucking. So I go to the corny operator of the Ferris wheel, and I gave him a joint. I had rolled a bunch of little joints up. I'm like, look, man, just let me st- stop at the top so I can spread my grandma's ashes. And it was during Ice Cube, and it was just me at the top smoking a joint. And I spread my grandma's ashes. Ashes, dude stopped it for like five minutes, and it was right when Ice Cube brought out uh, Dub C and Mac 10 from West Side Connection. Oh. And they fucking, they did a bunch of old school West Side Connection shit, like gangsters make the world go round, and mm-hmm. like bow down, like shit you people hadn't seen in years, and haven't probably since. And I think uh, Dub C died since then. Damn. But yeah, I spread my grandma's ashes and had a real tranquil moment while you were getting all your shit jacked. <laughs> but uh, that's going to fucking wrap it up, man. Trip, thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah. definitely, man. Like I said, I wasn't even supposed to be here. Yeah, <laughs> just appeared out of Florida Magic Ninja style. <laughs> like, that's the shit, fucking. All right, I guess the new slogan is fucking, we can't gather this year, so we're going to gather here. Hope to see you on fucking episode three. Peace. Peace.